Mr. McGrump is back! And guess what? He's still grumpy. Never change, Mr. McGrump. Never change. Hello, everybody! I'm Kindly Kian, and welcome to Do Not Disturb 2. Grumpy's mailbox. Mr. McGrump is here, and of course, he's grumpy. But can you really blame him? I mean, he probably has the most annoying neighbor ever, which is <laughs> me. So I guess the best way to get his attention is to, to tap on his, his mailbox. Could you imagine if your neighbor was just out in your front yard, like, hitting your mailbox? Of course that's gonna... Ooh. A love interest, Mr. McG McGrump. That was a little weird. Adorable. I'm just saying, if my neighbor was punching my mailbox in my front yard, I, I would probably not come out. I'd probably just from a distance be like, hey, what are you doing? It's a little weird. Are you okay? Mr. McGrump is a little bit more hands-on, I guess. What is this worm doing? Oh, he's wearing sunglasses now. Okay. Oh, nice hair. What is this? <laughs> he's, he's changing hats. Oh, I love it. This is a great look. This worm is is quite the fashionista. Oh, he's back to normal. Oh, he's back to bow tie. He's back to afro. Okay. We'll go with train conductor worm for now and uh, continue annoying Mr. McGraw. So, uh, here he comes. He, you know, honestly, when he when he first comes out of his door, he doesn't look that grumpy. He looks like he's having a great day. Now, based on what's going to happen, you could understand why he's not having such a great day anymore. I mean, he just likely broke all of the bones in his hand. So, not great. Is there any other stuff that I can tap? Can I, I can't tap his front door. What about the tree? I just killed that tree with my finger. I have too much power. Okay, apparently this tree is, is also some kind of pear tree or, or, or something. Fruit, what about, what, what about this? Oh! <laughs> Um, okay. Pine trees that second as umbrellas. I feel like as Mr. McGrump's neighbor, I have way too much power. So what's going on in our collection? We got reactions. We got stamps. How do you get stamps? There's 48 stamps and I have zero. Oh, also, hey, we got a little intro video that I, uh, I, I completely skipped when I first started the game. Uh, there's some, there's some story going on here. Okay, so Mr. McGrump wants a chair and he's very excited. Oh, I understand. That's why he's just standing there staring at the mailbox and watching me punch it over and over and over again. He's very anxiously waiting for the delivery of his sweet new chair. Also, I think his chair cost $1.99. That's a very cheap chair. But maybe in marmot money, that's uh, that's a lot more. I don't know. I, I'm not too familiar with marmot currency. Let's keep annoying Mr. McGraw, shall we? <laughs> Just gonna, gonna go ahead and attack your mailbox. I think the the reason that he comes out is because the, the little flag pops up when we mess with his mailbox too much, or I don't know. But apparently his mailbox is also a microwave, which seems kind of dangerous, but also kind of awesome. Oh, our first stamp. I don't even, was that a deer? That's a deer sticking his tongue out at me. More stamps, please. That's awesome. What are you gonna do this time, bud? Watch out, that thing's a microwave. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. Was music supposed to play or was there some kind of like message on that thing that only Mr. McGrump could hear? You know, like dogs can only hear certain frequencies that, that humans can't. Maybe there's a marmot frequency that only marmots can hear, but we cannot. I hope Mr. McGrump is okay, or maybe he's been activated as a secret agent. It's a possibility. Let's change up the worm's outfit. <laughs> Just normal worm, okay. Come back, Mr. McGrump, I miss you. Check your mail. Maybe there's a chair in there. I really hope that it, that he does get his chair. I just I just don't know. They're, oh my gosh. How is all of this stuff in his mailbox without anybody ever putting anything in there? Like I've I've not seen the mailman. There's definitely more to this mailbox than meets the eye. That's for sure. Let's continue annoying our neighbor by beating up his mailbox. Very strange. Whoa, you're so little. <laughs> Watch out for the worm. <laughs> He might eat you. Oh, penguin stamp. Let's go. How did Mr. McGrump get so tiny? He's got some weird scientific powers inside of that tree trunk of his. I'm, I'm a little concerned for my safety as his neighbor. Who knows what's going on in there? Got crazy laboratory? Don't eat it. Don't do it. 
I don't know if that's good for you to go from like super tiny to super big in an instant. Also, wasn't that the cupcake from Alice in Wonderland? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was. I could have told him that something bad was going to happen if he ate it, but I chose not to and just let him suffer the consequences. My bad, Miss McGrump. Sorry I didn't warn you, but uh, I am going to get you to do something probably pretty dangerous right here. That rat looks like he's up to no good. What, what is in there? What, oh my God. You know, that, you know, it does make sense. If the mouse was eating a, a piece of cheese, he got it from somewhere. Stinky rat. Come on back, Mr. McGrump. I, I gotta tell you, like, you think that he would have learned his lesson at this point? Um, where there's honey, there is bees. Bees? Called it. I'm glad that he's not allergic to bees. Uh, that still had to be extremely painful, though. We got ourselves a caterpillar stamp. Our collection is growing, slowly but surely. What's that? Three? Three of 48. 45 to go. Hey, Mr. McGrump, uh, uh, maybe it's your chair. It's not. It's a skunk. Um, oh no. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, so um, if that skunk sprays inside of his house, it, oh man. That smell is never going anywhere. Could you imagine? Like, skunk smell already is extremely strong and does not go away for a very long time. But imagine if that was on your furniture. He's gonna, he's gonna have to move out of this tree, find himself a new tree. I feel kind of bad. But it's not my fault. I didn't put the skunk in his mailbox. Postal workers are playing some kind of terrible prank on this poor little marmot. Poor, very grumpy marmot. Anyways, Mr. McGrump, I miss you. I would, I would like you to to regale us with another very unknown situation in your mailbox what um the tree <laughs> um okay that's kind of crazy so hear me out does that mean that trunk that the mailbox is on top of is actually the root of this tree in the background i think that has been scientifically proven as of now so far we haven't gotten any repeats so that's kind of awesome it's a tiny Mr. McGrump. I don't know if I like the idea of having a toy that squeezes me back. I don't like that. Also, that apple, that was a freaky looking apple. Just like the toy that squeezes me back, this apple looks like the kind of fruit that I'd take a bite out of and then it would bite me right back. Look at that smile, it's so creepy. I wanna get more stamps now. More creepy fruit stamps, please. Hey, Mr. McGrump, it's good to see you again. I know it's only been a few seconds since we last saw each other, but uh, every time I see you, something new happens, and it's very exciting for me. Uh, okay, he's gone. We're gonna miss you. Mr. McGrump! Are you okay, dude? Baji comes out in a full body cast next time. That would be pretty great, but uh, he, he recovers quickly. You know, marmot healing powers. Oh, there's a fire hose in your mailbox. Does that mean there's an entire fire department in your mailbox? Because that would be pretty handy, actually. If catastrophe happened and your house started burning down, you got uh, you got easy access to some firefighters. Now I'm kind of jealous. I wish I had a fire department in my mailbox. What's going on with this mailbox? How how can it fit so much stuff? In Maybe it's like storing it all underground between the tree and and the stump. Oh, we got a we finally got a repeat. Um, and as if having his house filled with the stink of skunk once wasn't enough. Now he gets it twice. Also, cat bread. Come back, Mr. McGrump, please. But stay at a distance because you kind of stink. You smell like double skunk. <laughs> okay, we are starting to get repeats. That's okay. It's bound to happen. No! Oh! You know, if you're making that many trips back and forth from the mailbox, at some point, you're probably gonna trip, and it happened. Poor Mr. McGrump. Yeah, I feel like Mr. McGrump's name is kind of doing a disservice to him, because maybe he's actually a super nice guy with just a very, very uh, specific set of situations that kind of put him in a bad mood. I mean, if you got your hand tricked into getting snapped by a, a rat trap, you'd probably be a little grumpy, too. It's just a little unfortunate that his name is also McGrump. Purely coincidence. Has nothing to do with his mood. It's just that he keeps getting trolled by like the worst trolls in the world. But I mean, look at this. He's got a he's got a romantic pen pal. That's adorable. Or maybe he's actually just a big old grump. But I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. What's going on, McGrump? No! Oh! No, your arm! Oh, I don't like this mailbox anymore. I, oh, you know, honestly, like, he just pinched himself, which is kind of impressive. If any of these things happen 
happened once when I put my hand in my mailbox, I would burn it down and just get a new mailbox. There's something wrong with this mailbox. You need a new mailbox. I love that the worm is just hanging out and he hasn't moved at all let's let's change his look there you go bow tie worm everybody loves bow tie worm please be careful mr mcgrump i know that we've been through this many times but it never really ends well for you i think that's the way a magnifying glass is supposed to work you might need to go see an eye doctor is that an ophthalmologist we did just get a new stamp i think we actually got a couple i've seen all these we got cat bread of course creepy apple oh a rubik's cube and it's completed I don't think I've ever completed a Rubik's Cube, but I have a stamp that says otherwise. Oh, it's Pac-Man. I like it. Let's keep it going. You know there's more situations to be seen between Mr. McGrump and his mailbox. Okay, it's, it's gonna punch you. That is, you're gonna get smacked in the face by your own mailbox. Or eaten and never seen again. Who knows how deep that mailbox goes? He's gonna get lost in there. There's no coming back. In fact, if a, if a McGrump comes out of the door, that's just a clone. That's not the real McGrump. See, they messed up in the cloning process and they made him little. I just noticed that our little collection, our stamp album, it says do not touch on it. So I think this is actually Mr. McGrump's collection and we've essentially stolen it from him, but we're adding to it. We're giving him more stamps. We'll give it back to him eventually. Maybe in Do Not Disturb 3, he'll get it back. Man, this guy's getting a lot of love letters. A bomb stamp? Awesome. Oh no. He hasn't, he hasn't had his coffee yet i can relate to that oh wait we did we see this we did we we saw that that the mailbox is a microwave and that's how he eats up his coffee every day probably get a microwave mr mcgrump just saying it'd be a little bit more convenient but i can relate you know you're not yourself until you've had your coffee and heated it up in a mailbox slash microwave what's going on now newspaper that seems appropriate oh no <laughs> this is the end of the world though or not i appreciate that there was a news story for an asteroid that was like the size of an acorn and of course it mr mcgrump directly I'm telling you there's a reason why this guy is so grumpy and i'm starting to see it and i can't really blame him don't put your hand in there it, oh this is the snake one you're about to get attacked by a snake why if, if someone puts a snake charming flute is that what that's called it probably has a cooler name than that but if someone puts that in your mailbox don't play it that's it is that simple you don't know where that flute has even been maybe mr mcgrump is the problem we did just get a new stamp which involves the flying cow which makes me very happy i love these stamp designs can we get these in real life i feel like stamps are always so boring i want some cute stamps like these except for no creepy apple stamps nobody wants that all right he made it to his mailbox that's a win it's like four love letters in the past 20 minutes someone really likes Mr. McGrump. That's a banana. Someone's gonna slip on that. And it's gonna be Mr. McGrump. This is cool. If he does come out and slip on the banana, I think this is the first time we've had like a continuation of an event. Let's see what happens. Uh, is he, the banana peel is still there. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. But he kind of did it to himself. I mean, he left the banana peel on his walkway. It's not my fault. I'm just the dude punching his mailbox. Maybe he learned his lesson. Don't litter. Even if it is a banana peel, throw it in the compost. I don't like that toy. Very scary. Okay, now it does look like there are a few reactions that we haven't gotten naturally, but I went ahead and purchased the unlocked version of the game so that we have access to everything. So like sh shining banana. Oh, you know what? This is probably him eating the banana and then he leaves the banana peel and then he slips on the banana peel. Yes, yes, am I right? Yes, and then he throws it behind him because he's a litter bug not cool <clears throat> and then he learns his lesson because of that there's a bomb what who would send mr mcgrump but just a bomb and it's lit i thought for sure the mailbox was gonna get blown up but then i thought about it for a second that thing that whatever massive network of tunnels that is inside of this mailbox as soon as he put that bomb back it was gone no worries what is this thing? It's some kind of like splotch. Is oh, is he gonna get pied? Okay, the bomb came back apparently. <laughs> Oops. The icon for this one was just a bunny. So uh, he's a magician. Take a bow, man. You, very impressive. End of the show. Hey, I got a new stamp. Oh, don't get worms mixed up with your spaghetti. Gross. What is this? Oh, he's getting up in my face. <laughs> 
<laughs> you missed your mailbox, man. <laughs> Mr. McGrump might need glasses. It's an egg. What is going on with this egg? What is about to happen to Mr. McGrump? He has angered Mama Chicken. Put it back. Give her back the egg. We'll never talk about this again. This icon just looks like a straight up explosion. Let's see what happens. Something's gonna blow up. That letter? That letter's a bomb. I'm so sorry, Mr. McGrump. He's been vaporized. We got a beehive. Let's let's see what happens. I can't help but wonder if there's an entire beehive. Wait, we saw this. And then the bees come out and sting his face. Fortunately, he doesn't go into anaphylactic shock and uh, just carries on with his day. But there's a bee here on the first page that I thought was that one. This one's different. This is a different bee situation. It's a single bee. Yeah, okay definitely would hurt. Horseshoe? Are you gonna play a game of horseshoes inside of that mailbox? It probably has the room for it, based on what I've seen. There's an entire horse in there. There's an entire horse just hanging out in his mailbox. Alright, I feel like we've seen most of these... I don't think we've seen the one with the bowling ball, though. What's going on with that? Can you can you tell me about this, Mr. McGrump? Wait, no. That's this is the one where you pinch yourself. This has nothing to do with a bowling ball. I'm I feel so betrayed. Oh my gosh, rocket mailbox. This seems incredible. Is is Mr. McGrump gonna go to space? No, he's not. But his mailbox is. I was hoping that he was gonna grab onto it. I'm learning more and more about this mailbox every single second. It grows back. That's incredible. Which further proves that the mailbox is actually just a piece of the root of the tree in the background. You just water it, comes right back. What is this? What is this bow tie thing going on? It's a lot of bow ties. You ordered some bow ties, Mr. McGrump. You should change up the color of your bow tie. Yeah, look at that. It's a brand new look. I, listen, green, blue, red. No, they're great. Of course, you're just gonna stick with old tried and true. Ooh, the red bow tie. You should try a different color, Mr. McGrump. Maybe it'll put you in a better mood. Just saying. Another stamp for the collection. Thank you very much. And I think we have one more reaction to watch, and it involves some chains, which makes me think there's some kind of wild monster inside of your mailbox that you want to stay in. What did, what, what did that have to do with chains? Either way, Mr. McGrump, I hope you get your chair eventually. Hopefully you have a better day too.